It's true, then. Indeed it is. The long reign of Duncan McBiscuit has come to an end. All, All hail, hail Chairman, Chairman Wallace. Wallace! Oh, uh, uh, no need to make a fuss on my account. Oh, but there is, Wallace. Heard the entire game on the wireless. This is a new beginning for Prickly Thicket. Aye, an era of peace and goodwill and justice for all. Right, Wallace? Uh, well, uh, that is, yes, uh, I certainly hope so. As Gromit will attest, I've always been very Gromit. No dogs allowed in the club, lad. You'll have to wait outside. Now, for my first official act as chairman... Three trumpets for all? Uh, no, Major Crump. My first official act will be to tear up old Roaring McBiscuit's deed and to save West Wallaby Street from the bulldozer. Yeah, of course. Jolly good, jolly good. You carry on, Wallace. Where is he? Where is that wee bogan bumpwort? Uh, you mean Chairman Wallace? He's around the corner, tearing up the deed. He can't do that! Oh, but he can. Tournament's over, and he won it fair and square. But you're forgetting about the sudden death round! Sudden death? Aye, the round where I make sure he meets a sudden death! Let me at him. Don't touch 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 him. Or you come in a garden, Grey Squirrel. And as the offence took place on prickly thicket property, I've no choice but to. Knock it up, knock it down, and bury the remains, and we're here to see you do your duty. That's right. Prickly thicket has caused quite enough trouble. Kindly point me to the chair. Well, it is a time time to say it. And that's what is not my baby. Who's been talking about with the oscillating fan? It don't oscillate no more. Suppose I'd better join them. Miss anything important, have I? Well, uh, I haven't actually done anything yet. As you can see, we're packed like a pressure cooker full of sardines. And I wanted to discuss our options before... Discuss? Poppycock, are you a waffler or a leader, Wallace? Well, uh, uh, that is, I, uh, 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 uh. Wafflers waffle! Leaders act! It's a trap! Everything's under control. I'm sure there's a simple way to deactivate the lock. It's a sand trap. Uh, uh, no need to panic. Uh, uh, I have an idea. Uh, but to put it into effect, I'll need to shift over to the window. Uh, Major Crumb, could you slide into the empty space? Flanking maneuver, eh? Brilliant strategy! Uh, Miss Flit, would you mind moving over a bit? Where would I go? Mr. Paneer, if uh, you wouldn't mind sliding over. Like this? You realise, Mr. Paneer, we could have avoided this outcome if you'd have chose a different candidate for membership. You're in the club now, ain't you? Satisfied? Pardon me, Mr. McBiscuit. Could you perhaps shift your weight over a bit? I'd like to shift my fist onto your hooter for getting us into this scrape. Dunk, please! 
All right, lassie, all right. Uh, hello, Felicity. Duncan? Why'd you do it, Felicity? Why do you want to throw me over for an umpty like Wallace? I'm not interested in Wallace anymore. I'm not interested in any man who golfs. I but I'd have given it up for you, lassie. You would? I, from the moment you first brushed me off, I can't you were the one for me. I tried to put my feelings into rhyme, but oh, I'm no good with words. Your eyes are as deep as the murkiest look. Your teeth are as straight as black blue rock. You remember it? Of course I did. Your eyes aren't too shabby either. Major Crumb? One step ahead of you, Wallace. <clears throat> now, Mr. Penier, if you move over, I know. Now, uh, Miss Flit, if you could please move into... Next to you, a golf-playing fancy man who toyed with my Felicity's affections? Certainly not. But Aunt Prudence... A lady must preserve some standards of decorum. Constable Dibbins, if you can move over... I'll give the orders here, if you don't mind. And I'm ordering myself to move over. Could you shift over a bit, Mrs. Gabberley? Oh, I'll have a go. Now, Miss Flit, if you could simply shift your weight... Uh, really? Uh, into the empty space. This is intolerable. Miss Flit, uh, I wonder if you could just wiggle over... Pippa! Uh, into the empty space. Oh. Uh, Mr. McBiscuit? Ah, oh, shit, your giggy, I'm shifting! Mrs. Gabberley? Say no more, Pat. Constable Dibbins? Perhaps I will. Perhaps I won't. Miss Flit, could you... Uh... Oh. That's it! Move into striking range! Uh... Um, Miss Flit? What an impertinence! Ah, and here we are. Oh, much obliged, everyone. Now I can put my plan into effect.
der Hand, Lad! Am Schiff der Po! Get us out of here! What's taking you so long, lad? What's going on out there, Gromit? Thanks, lad. Close friends are a fine thing, but that was a bit too close. Well, why people are so keen on country clubs is a mystery to me. Then you meant what you said in there about quitting Prickly Thicket. For you, my little sprig of healing. Uh, just a second, Felicity. I don't oh, think I've been introduced You're to the so man. Romantic. Sand bath, most invigorating. Cleans out the pores. Reminds me of the good old days in the Sahara. You know, Constable Dibbins, I hear on Grapevine there may be another, uh, opening at Prickly Thicket. And I've heard a certain grocery shop may be reopening soon, too. <laughs> well, old chum, I'd say Golden Retrieval's first professional investigation has gone rather... <coughs> Wallace, this is rather awkward for me to say. I, I, I mean, I know your feelings about me. Oh, uh, you do? You see, in the heat of adversity, I've discovered that my heart belongs to another. Oh, uh, right -o. So, please, don't say anything to prolong our agony. I must therefore return this to you. Hi, heck, lad. That's two close shaves in one afternoon. I don't know about you, but I could murder a copper. Oops. Hang on, just a sec. Time for some cheese, methinks, from it. What do you fancy, lad? Eat Amor Wensleydale.